Hi everyone, this is Tamara, your courtroom companion. No one knows better than a daughter of a narcissistic mother just how painful being in a relationship with a narcissist can be. In today's video, I'm going to focus on that mother-daughter relationship where the narcissistic person is the mom and why she shows such hatred towards her daughter. Um, and if you are in a relationship with um, your mom still and your mom is a narcissist, this video is for you. I'm going to explain the three reasons. I'm also going to give you a little bit of, I guess, insight or something that actually uh, will make that mother-daughter relationship even worse than it already is. If it can, if it can get worse, um, there is a reason for it, and I'll explain that. And I'll also give you a strategy, a couple of strategies actually, that um, will help you to uh, maneuver through life um, with a mom who's a who's a narcissist. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So stay tuned. just meeting for the first time. Um, I'm glad you're here. My name is Tamara. I'm your courtroom companion. And I like to say that I come alongside you virtually to help you get through family court custody and narcissism. So that's what this channel is all about. Hopefully you're in the right place. My passion is helping people just like you to build their life back better and better um, after they've been through family court or custody um, or narcissism. And so that's what I'm here focusing on in this channel. And um, so yeah, that's my passion. If you haven't heard, I've just recently launched my membership community and it's a very minimal fee, but you get a lot for your money. Um, so you can hit that join button below to learn more about the various levels of that membership community. It's a very supportive community and I think you'll uh, get a lot out of that uh, support system. So why are narcissistic mothers so hateful towards their, their daughter? So there are three reasons for that, but before we jump into those, let me just say narcissists in general are mean and nasty anyway. Um, although they portray themselves to be the opposite of that, um, they're just mean and nasty in general. And that's regardless of the type of relationship, whether it's a sibling, parent, um, friend, coworker, intimate partner, it doesn't matter. Narcissists are mean and nasty at their core. And so that also contributes to the three reasons why narcissistic mothers are hateful towards their daughters. They're just hateful in general. So reason number one that narcissistic mothers are so hateful towards their daughters is that they actually see their daughter as a direct threat to their ability to get all the accolades, all of the admiration and all of the attention whenever that daughter is around the narcissistic mother. If there are other people around or, you know, like maybe they go to a family event or they go somewhere where friends are, that daughter is a direct threat to that mother. Um, the mother as a narcissist needs all that, all those accolades, all of that attention and admiration. And when she has to share that with another female and it doesn't matter that it's her daughter, that is like a direct threat to the narcissistic supply that that mother needs. The mother is not viewing her daughter in those moments as, you know, like, oh, I'm so proud of my daughter. You know, look at what she's done. She's accomplished, you know, she's, you know, the best daughter in the world. She's not looking to boast about her. Um, it's interesting because on one hand, the narcissistic mother wants her children to be perfect. But then on the other hand, when the, when the daughter tries so hard throughout her whole life to please mom, it's, it's really um, incongruent when they get into a situation where the mother feels that the daughter is a direct threat to her. She won't boast about her. In fact, she will likely put her down and that's gonna be very confusing for the daughter, you know, especially if, you know, adolescents in that age. She is actually just viewing her daughter as an obstacle to getting her narcissistic supply. If she, the narcissistic mother prefers to be the only female in the room um, to get all of that attention. And so it doesn't matter that it's her daughter. Her daughter is a direct threat to her receiving that narcissistic supply. So that's reason number one why she hates her daughter. Reason number two that she shows hatred towards her daughter is because narcissists in general are very self-loathing, although to everyone else, they pretend to be this, you know, happy-go-lucky, you know, best thing that ever happened to the world kind of person. Inside, they're very self-loathing. And so that self-loathing is projected onto her daughter. And 
I did a video recently on projection that I think might be really helpful for you to kind of understand this concept. I'm not going to go in depth here in this video about projection, but I'll link it above and below that video I did about projection um, because a narcissist projects all of their bad feelings onto another human being. So as the same gender, the mom is particularly hateful towards her daughter when she feels that self-loathing. She projects it all onto her daughter. So every bad thing that the mother feels about herself, she projects that onto her daughter. Let's say the nar narcissistic mother is, you know, average size, you know, not um, heavy in any way, uh, you know, but feels like she's overweight or, you know, obese or something like that. She's going to project that onto her daughter, whether her daughter has a problem with weight or not. It, it doesn't matter. She's going to project that piece that she feels about herself onto her daughter. If she feels that she um, is ugly, then she's going to project that onto her daughter. If she feels like she wasn't successful, she's likely to tell her daughter that she won't be successful. But all the while, ensuring that she tries to remain perfect. It's a very confusing situation for a daughter to be in. And I'm sure you can imagine that if the mom, the narcissistic mom, had a lot of trauma in her background, say abuse, you know, se sexual or physical and emotional abuse, if she has a lot of that trauma in her past, those wounds are gonna be even deeper and that's gonna be even more projected onto the daughter. So this narcissistic mother is literally using her daughter to dump all of her bad feelings about herself onto her. She's like a punching bag in a way. Reason number three that the narcissistic mother shows such hatred towards her daughter is because when the daughter begins to push back as she gets older to be her authentic self, that is a narcissistic injury to mom. It's called a narcissistic injury. When the daughter tries to be our, her authentic self, it's like the, the mother's thinking, how dare you? You know, you were here to serve my purpose. They literally see their children in general as an appendage or, a, you know, an arm, a leg, something like that, because they don't feel that, that those children have a right to be them, their authentic self. So when daughter begins to push back on that, it's really, it's a very deep rooted issue for the narcissistic mom. And so that's another reason she host, shows hatred because likely the mom didn't have the courage or the, um, you know, I don't know, the the desire or something to pursue her own dream. She didn't have a strong enough des desire to pursue her dreams to be successful, for example. And if the mom was not successful and the daughter is very successful, that's even worse for the mom. So mom in some ways tries to keep the daughter's dreams, you know, put a cap on the dreams so that she doesn't become more successful than mom. So that's another reason mom hates daughter is because being the same gender again and she's successful and the mom is not that's another reason why narcissistic mothers show hatred towards their daughters it's like you know if i should if i can't do it then you can't do it either kind of kind of situation the daughter tries to break free you're going to see the narcissistic mother get um really enraged probably cut off the relationship and then blame the daughter for the relationship ending it's very it's a wicked wicked situation for the mom and the daughter when the mom is a narcissist. So when the mom realizes that daughter is not gonna stick around and provide that supply to her because the relationship is ending, that relationship is generally not salvageable in my experience, um, unless the mother has some kind of awakening, which narcissists usually don't. Um, it isn't a relationship that's going to be successful. It's not gonna be mutually loving and caring. It's just not gonna be that way. Now I told you that there is something I wanted to share with you that would make this already complicated situation even worse. If it could get any worse, it would be worse because there would be a brother involved. If there is a brother, so this daughter has a, a sibling, a brother, um, and they have a narcissistic mom, um, that's gonna make that situation with mom and daughter even more horrific because what'll happen is mom is constantly going to be like, um, being emotionally abusive, manipulative with the daughter, you know, just putting her down all the time, that kind of thing, because of all of the reasons I just explained. But in contrast, she will be the opposite to the brother, right? She will um, idolize the brother and talk well about the brother, even if the brother is not a good person, even if the brother isn't successful, even if the brother, um, even you know, it doesn't matter if, it, if the brother's average, you know, if he's very successful, not successful at all, it won't matter. The mother will pit the 
the brother against the daughter, and then there will be a sibling kind of situation happening. Um, uh, you know, like where there'll be a lot of drama between the siblings because the mom is treating the son way different than she treats the daughter. So um, if she just has the one daughter or a couple of daughters, they, she might, you know, get them to fighting. You know, she'll be, you know, needing supply from this one, needing supply from that one. It's still bad whether it's one daughter, two daughters, or even more daughters, but throw a brother in the mix and it's even more complicated. It's an ugly, ugly situation. And if I'm describing your situation in any way, um, I would really love to hear from you um, in the comments. Tell us kind of how your situation is um, showing up. Um, tell us what you're, you know, share with us how you're getting through it. Um, our Courtroom Companions community would love to hear about how to maneuver through these kinds of difficult relationships with narcissists. So if you are a daughter and you're in the situation with a narcissistic mother, um, there are two recommendations I have, um, and they might seem difficult to do, but I think they're worth it if you can do them. I mean, I'm not saying they're easy. They are really not easy, these recommendations. Some of what I offer here through my videos and on my channel are easy things to do, I would say, but not these two recommendations. Um, so if you're in a relationship where your mom is a narcissist and you're the daughter, my first recommendation is to end the relationship because it's going to be toxic. It's just gonna to be toxic. You are going to be used as an emotional punching bag for your mom. And it would be better for you to not have that relationship than to continue to endure uh, your mother's mistreatment. Um, you are worthy to be loved and you are worthy to have people care about you and love you and not mistreat you. And your narcissistic mother is not deserving of being in a relationship with you. Um, a relationship is only can only be a relationship when two people are actively seeking a healthy relationship. They are loving one another and caring about one another, and your mom is unable to do that. And so it is not a relationship at all when someone is not doing their part. And so my first recommendation would be to cut off ties. And, and this can be forever. It's been my experience that narcissists don't get better. And so this recommendation could be cutting off forever or it could be cutting off until you get complete healing. So you need space away from mom in order to heal your heart. You need to get some therapy. You need to get enough support around you to heal your heart. And when you do that and you give yourself space, you can heal. Then if you try, if you decide to enter back into that relationship with your mom, you're gonna likely enter it in a different way. You're gonna have stronger boundaries. You're going to know how to deal with her and you won't be as emotionally triggered um, if you do heal your heart. So, so it's up to you whether you would continue in that relationship at some point. But my recommendation is just to end the relationship and, and you can decide for how long that will be. So the rec second recommendation I have is, you know, I'm gonna share it with you, but I wanna first say that you can't choose your family, right? You're born into that family. And so you get a mom, you get a dad, or you know, um, siblings, however you came into the world, you did not choose those people. But that doesn't mean that we have to settle for mistreatment just so they will be a part of our life. And so my second recommendation is to kind of start to ponder whether or not there's someone in your circle that can maybe be a replacement for that for that mom. So maybe you have an older person that you connect with at church or maybe at work or maybe, you know, in some other, maybe you're in sports or something and there's someone that you get along with really well and just is slightly older than you. They don't have to be much older. They can just be, you know, um, a little bit older. In fact, they can probably even be around the same age. But what I'm recommending is that there be so someone in your life that can replace that mother figure for you, someone that's gonna love you unconditionally, somebody that's gonna be there for you. This person would act as a caring mother figure for you. And, and if you can do that, and I know that's not easy, you know, you don't wanna walk up to somebody and say, will you be my mom? You know, I'm not suggesting that. What I'm suggesting is that you cultivate a relationship with someone that's a little bit older, maybe around the same age, I guess is, is still okay, but having that person act as your mother figure can be very, very beneficial. Um, when I was going through my situation, there was a couple at work at, at, sorry, there was a couple at my church that I saw as my sort of spiritual parents. And they were very, very beneficial to my healing. And I just, I, I mean, it wasn't something formal we established, but 
And it doesn't have to be something formal with the person that you reach out to. It just has to be someone that can kind of feed into you in a way that maybe a mother figure would. Now I realize that's not easy to do, um, but I think if you begin to think about that, the, the world or the universe would sort of bring that to you, right? Um, I'm, I'm not a manifesting kind of person, but when you put things out in the world, I think the universe has a way of bringing those people into your life or bringing those things into your life. And I would just start thinking about that, pondering that and, and deciding whether or not you want to pursue that in a more active way. If you in the Court and Canyons community, if you have done this before where you had a replacement mom, um, we would love to hear about that as well in the comments. Tell us how you did it. Tell us how it's working out. Give us some best practices and some tips on how to uh, go about finding that person for these daughters who were raised by narcissistic moms. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope these uh, three reasons why narcissistic mothers hate their daughters and these recommendations for how to maneuver through it are, have been helpful to you. Um, and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care, bye-bye.